Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I have something very special to show you. Something that I have never videotaped in the past. We're going to visit an aircraft accident site in the jungles of Yap in Micronesia. We're going to look at the remains of a Boeing 727 that crashed in the jungle almost 35 years ago and I will explain to you what happened. These are absolutely remarkable scenes. Let's go and look at it. Come on. Now, before we look at these uh, remarkable images from the crash site, let's uh, explore and review the history, what happened here. On November 21st, 1980, there was a flight, Continental Airlines or Micronesia Airlines flight, that originated in Saipan in the Northern Mariana Islands. There was a short stop at Guam, and at about 9.20, this Boeing 727 was supposed to arrive here at Yap, at the International Airport. The uh, plane never made it to the runway. It made it just a few feet before the runway, but it came down so hard that the right landing gear was ripped off the plane. The plane never made it to the runway. It skidded to the side of the runway for about 500 meters in flames. There were 67 people on board and six air crew members and all of them survived this horrible inferno. It's a miracle how they all survived. The thing is that the 727 is still here in the jungle. All the remains of it and that's what we're going to see now. Now the National Transportation Safety Board concluded that the pilot was in total error he didn't know how to land the 727. He was applying DC-10 techniques, which is a completely different plane. And that's why when it was coming down, the plane it came down with such speed and it lost thrust and it, hit, it never hit the runway. So let's go look at these remarkable images. I have never seen anything like this. And you're going to really enjoy these, uh, uh, these views of a plane turned upside down half burned in the jungle of Yap in Micronesia. Let's go. And uh, here's the uh, tail section of the B-27. And in order to understand why this is the tail section, one needs to explore the design of a 727. Now, if you go back into photographs of 727, you will see it has two engines, one on uh, under each wing and an engine in the back, the tail engine. And what you're looking at here is, here's the tail of the plane, right there. And we're gonna go closer to the tail to see the Continental Airlines logo. And if I walk around here, you can see a big part of the plane. Here's the rear of the plane, a big part of the fuselage here in the jungle. Here's the air intake for the tail engine of the 727. Look at it. It's a huge part of the plane laying here in a deep ravine. Let's go look at the place where the plane has rested. Here's the ravine, it's about five meters deep and it goes for quite a while down there. Here's the tail section, right there. And here's a much closer view of the air intake of the third engine and a much better view of the rear of the plane right there. Look at that. And here's the underside, which on normal conditions, if the plane was upright, this would have been the left side of the tail section. Let's go even closer. Let's take a look at the intake. Right there. Right. 
and uh, here's the rear fuselage. I'm right behind it now. Look at it guys. Covered in jungle vegetation. Right there. Let's go even closer. We may get to go a little bit inside. Get that. The pipe that you see here is the air intake for the third engine in the tail. And if we go this way, this would have been the way to the inside of the aircraft. Right there. A little bit closer. Look at that. All around me there are parts, aircraft parts, scattered, covered by bushes and vegetation and so on. You can see another big part right here. It looks to be like a part from the wing. Yes it is because the upper part of the wing, you can see the flaps here. Right there. Here's a huge pile of aircraft components. You can see them here. Look at that. It's like a small hill of burnt aircraft metal. Almost melted together. Look at that. They're everywhere. Look at that. I'm not an airplane expert, otherwise I would tell you. This one looks like a generator right here in the middle. And this is a huge pile, it goes all the way down to the end. And uh, here is a spectacular view of the plane from the rear. You can see that this place right here would have been where the third engine would be located at. And here is the tail. You can imagine the tail going up that way as the camera is moving. So that would have been the tip of the tail up there. Let me show you the ravine once again. You can see how deep it is here. And here's the tail section. And for those of you that are old enough to remember the old trademark of Continental Airlines, here it is. Very clearly preserved on the tail section. And here's another fascinating view of the plane in the jungle. You can see the bushes and the vegetation coming through. In a few years this will disappear altogether. Right there. I am now standing on a small hill formed from the melted components of the aircraft and one can imagine the inferno here when the plane finally rested at this place. The intense heat and people jumping out of the plane trying to save themselves and fortunately everybody did. I want to show you an example of components that are all over this place. Here, here's one right in front of me. Hold on a second. Here's a, 
a very heavy metal thing with pipes and valves sticking out but this is just a small example there are hundreds of these things lying around it's like an open-air museum of a 727 in the jungle what an incredible experience to be here and to videotape this in this heat as well it's about 36 degrees Celsius and thank God for a light breeze wow I am now under the fuselage. There's enough space for me to get here so I can give you some spectacular views. Here is the tail section that you see here. Here is one of the sensors on the tail section right there you can see how big the tail is goes all the way down there I have uh, videotaped quite a few different things in my life I have over 2300 videos on YouTube with many many different subjects but I must say this is my first one and it is probably the most adventurous and the most exciting video and that's because it's very difficult to get to videotape these places first of all you need to get to the country where the crash has taken place and once you do that you need to find the crash very rarely you will find instructions and directions how to find them exactly to pinpoint their exact location and this is what happened here it took a couple of days of asking people around trying to locate this section of the uh, B727 that you just saw so this is one of my most remarkable videos by far thank you for watching this is Vic all the way from the Pacific Ocean in the jungles of Yap in Micronesia what a place Bye-bye.